Okay, so I want to show you the star of the show. I think, uh, well, in my opinion, it's Griptog. What this card's going to look like. Griptog, the four-fisted brute. And where is he? There we go. I'm trying to do a review here, Shane, and you're interrupting me. <laughs> That's okay. That's uh, I'm showing off Griptog. It looks really good here under the lights. And he's, does he have a, a head in the back, a face in the back of his head? Yeah, he does. Look at that. Just like the original figure, the more fishy-looking face. And let's go to the show the face in the front. And of course, he comes with this base mace or as well. Um, where's those, those alternate hands? Let me see here. Griptogs, alternate hands. So the, the difference between the alternate hands or alternate forearms, that is, and the regular forearms, is that this forearm has the hands closer together, and this forearm has them farther apart. So he can, say, grab uh, Adam Power by the neck with these, and then, or, or, or with the other ones, and he can grab something bigger with these. You just snap them up uh, using the glyas compatibility. So, um, the Griptog and the Griptog variants, I think, are some of my favorite figures that have come out so far. We're going to eventually get Griptog. We're going to get Grab Grab Targ. Let's grab Targ here. And um, this here is the club exclusive figure which is going to come with all the extras, like the extra heads, extra skirt, um, extra, I think, weapons pieces. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be totally loaded up with, with goodies and extra stuff. Club, uh, Power Lords Club exclusive, Grap Tick, the Four-Fisted Trooper. As you can see here, his card is a little di different. It doesn't have the art in the front. The reason there's no art in the front is it's going to be so loaded up with stuff that you won't be able to see any art on it. So um, that's what these these guys look at. Like you can see the paint, the great uh, green paint on uh, Griptog. Really nice. Little hit there on each bicep. Little hit here on the alternate head, on the uh, alternate face. Just fully painted. These do not look anything like any three and three quarter um, figures that you've seen so far. And, oh, and here's a treat. We are getting a surprise visit from none other than Terra Firma, the Outer Space Woman, first ever Outer Space Woman. Um, that's part of the Four Horsemen's Outer Space line created by Mel Burncrant. And she also looks fantastic. So you guys are going to get a chance to pick her up at some point. She's got a little visor that comes down. I'm not sure whether she'll have a chrome visor or whether uh, some of the things about her have changed. She's got this really cool weapon here. All new design by Mel Burnkrant. Some sort of anti-gravity jet pack. Uh, there as well. So she can zoom off. And here is another visitor. 
This is also not a Power Lord. This is Jack Asteroid. Like I said before, some details on this figure may vary. But um, we also got the visor. Looks great. Don't know if it's going to be a bl black opaque visor, if it's going to be a clear visor, or what. But however way the final figure comes out, this is the production sample. It's going to look great. Paint details, crisp and clean. You've got a gold ring around the uh, earth there on his chest. Some of Mel Burnkrant's finest work. So, where he's going, also going to fly off. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Okay. Um, one other thing, and this may be, you know, it might not be uh, as exciting visually as. Um, the figures, but this there is something that's happened that is a big deal in Power Lord's history, and that is a something that Wayne Barlow found in his garage. Uh, uh, thirty years ago, he designed these figures, or over thirty years ago, and there was a lot of concept art that he did. There was a lot of development work, uh, working on the backstories, etc. That never saw the light of day, and he didn't know where it was, but uh, he happened across it in his garage, and this is the Power Lord's equivalent of finding